Hello, hello guys. It's the one and only Phoenix Novell of Boss Bitch Tips. And today's video is called Top 6 Traits of an Alpha Male. Now, the first thing I want to tell you guys is that alpha males are dominant. They're the kind of guys that don't wait for other people to move. You know, they see it, they want it, they go after it, they take it. And they are very pioneering. Alpha males are not, I mean, it's not like they don't get nervous or have to deal with being, you know, issues with self-esteem. Everyday issues, they still have to deal with. But they don't allow those things to keep them from making progress or moving forward. It's almost like sometimes they enjoy that pressure. They enjoy that uh, tension because they know that pressure, you know, creates diamonds. And they want the best. They want to have the best. One of the one of the things that I've noticed the most about every alpha male that I've ever met is that they, they enjoy a challenge. They enjoy the fight, but they only enjoy the fight with other alphas. You know, they, they're not just like ready to show you that they're strong. They're ready to show you that they're strong against something that's not easy. All right. So, the first trait is other guys follow his lead. If he's an alpha male, he doesn't follow behind anybody. He's not going to just cower down to the man or whoever's in charge. Sometimes he wants the battles. He, he thinks, of course, all right, I could lose my job if I say this to this man or if I do this or whatever or if I don't follow these rules. But it's really hard for him, especially if, he, if, this, if this person is trying to like boss up on him or whatever, make him feel like he's not you know, the man. But when he feels a certain way about something, he going to let you know. He says it. He says what's on his mind. And a lot of betas, you know, are not that strong. They want to be, but it's just not in their character. It's just not there in their demeanor. So they'll follow behind this other guy because they know this other guy is going to take the burn if this comes back on us. But while he's standing up, and he's saying what he needs to say, I'm going to have his back because I feel the same way, but I don't want to be in a position to be called the one who started shit, you know. But he's the, he's the one who just sometimes challenges the status quo just because. <laughs> and it's crazy when you see it because other guys just like, they'll, yeah, you know, they're in the background. He's right, you know, yeah. Even if he's not right, even if he's being a complete dick about something, it's just the fact that he's audacious and that that bulkiness is what kind of makes other guys feel like, you know, I could do that too. And they're not afraid to, 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 to follow his lead because they know that he's the one who he's the one who's going to fight if, it, if, the, if it's a necessary battle that's coming. That's the first trait. Other guys follow his lead. The second trait of a alpha male is that he takes what he wants. He doesn't wait for you to give him permission. If you got a man... And you telling him that you ain't really interested, but you giving him the slightest bit of attention to make him think that you want to play hard to get and you want to tease, he going to get in there. Like, like don't, don't do it because you will get got like real fast. If you really don't, don't play those games with no alpha because that audacity is going to draw you in. Women like that. Like even alpha women, they like alpha men. It's hard for them to be together, of course, because... Their energy is very, it's, it's too similar. And that there's a balance of, of, of give and take that's necessary in, in, in successful relationships. Somebody has to be willing to give. And two alphas sometimes are not willing to concede. There's something about having power that they get off on. It's what keeps them strong. So two alphas sometimes are, are not able to really do anything but be friends. But you give an alpha the sensation that you, that, that, that just a peak of an idea that you are, on the market, even if you're married, you engage, you got a man, you you know, you say you don't want a relationship right now because you're focusing on something else, it don't matter. To an alpha, he going in. He going in, if you give him that attention or you compliment him or you or you flirt just a little bit, he going to, if he can, he'll size up your man and he'll see, is this a worthy, like, is this a worthy competitor, you know? And usually... It really doesn't matter. You know, if he wants you, he wants you, he's going to find a way to get close to you, you know, and size you up and figure out, okay, I think I want her on my arm. And it'll take very little 
for him to compete with your dude if he really wants you. Even if your dude is so nice and so kind and they friends, even if they friends, it takes an alpha very little to to go after what they want, even if it's not morally right or ethically, ethically nice. An alpha takes what he wants, period. Uh, the third trait of an alpha is he softens to passivity. He softens to um, to betas, you know, or to people who are kind of like, you know, all right, it's all good, no problem, you can do this and you can have your way or we'll do it that way. He softens because he doesn't like an easy win. Alphas do not like an easy win. They need something uh, to, 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 to challenge them. They need a little bit of a tug of war. And if you don't give them that, if you're too, if you're kind, if you're soft, if you're gentle, he'll you'll see his softer side. You'll see his softer side because he he doesn't want to. He's not like a lion looking for your weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he sees that you are weak, or that he can't really walk away with a with a strong, victorious, and bloody victory, he's like, Ugh. <laughs> like seriously. As soon as you give chase or give him something where he feels like he has to take a you know, a, a stance, then he's going in. But if if you're kind, if you're gentle, if you're if you're you know, if you're soft, if you're not really the kind of person who wants to fight or looks for that battle or just wants to challenge, he's kind. You'll see the softer side. So that's a tip. Anybody who wants to get an alpha, to be with an alpha or to be friends with an alpha, somebody who's like a, uh, hmm, friends, maybe not friends, but somebody who actually wants to like to be around and to get something from an alpha, you have to you, you have to show them that you are not looking to battle with them. You can't try to fight them because fighting them, it, it brings out their fangs, you know, and they're ready to battle. And sometimes you can become friends, you know, if you're if you're if you're able to deal with a loss, <laughs> one of y'all, and if y'all are really compatible. But in terms of like a woman who wants to get an alpha, first thing you need to do is you need to lay down like the damsel in distress. And sometimes it's they they think they want to challenge, but at some point, in order for him to feel comfortable and relaxed around you, he has to he has to feel like you are not on high alert and ready to battle. He has to get a sense that you are able to be conquered, you know. And that's that's just the dance, and some people can't do that. So yeah. So number four, he doesn't compromise his values. As soon as he feels like he's getting the short end of the stick. He flips over the fucking table. That's just what he does. He's very careful in terms of the, the scales. Now, he'll play the game and make you think you winning. But the moment that he feels like he's giving too much, he'll do something that'll flip the whole thing around and make you be like, what? What's he? He's not going to lose. He's not going to give too much of himself because he knows that that's the first thing that betas do. It's the first sign of somebody who's not willing to risk it all to get what they say they want. Alphas risk it all. They look for the fight. They go to the seedy ass parts of the of the of the neighborhood just to find opportunities to prove to themselves they are as strong as they think they are. They don't just they're not they don't puff up. They don't just puff up to puff up. They puff up because they've learned how to puff up. And they can they got some substance behind that 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 weight, you know, that might. They turn me on. Alpha's turn me on. Sorry, I'm just getting excited thinking about it. <laughs> uh, number five, he has a strong regiment that he holds himself accountable to. Like he he is his he's able to take control of himself. All right. In the beginning, he might have a personal trainer or, or a nutritionist. You know, he might have people to help him learn how to better, you know, lead himself. But there's an internal thing that he has that makes him accountable. You know, he knows his limits. He's aware of them. He's aware of his weaknesses. He's aware of his strengths. And he doesn't he doesn't let himself go to to the point where he can know where he's out of control most of the time. Some of them have vices that they can't that they have to deal with that they have to that they have to learn how to make sure that they balance because sometimes we all got that thing in us where we go a little too far, we need to bring it back. But alphas, they pride themselves on being able to stay in control, all right? And the main way to stay in control for anybody, really, is to understand 
that you are the most important thing in any and every situation, in love, in work, in life, in business. You are the most important thing. And as soon as you stop thinking that your value exceeds the other person, the other party, including, like, listen, including your kids. And I say this because if you're not on your A game, if you're not able to take care of yourself, provide for yourself, there's no way that you can provide and be a great example for your children. I think everybody can benefit from that alpha trait. It is a strong regimen that you hold yourself accountable to because you have a high value of yourself. You understand that if you can't keep yourself in control, somebody else has power, you know, to, to control you because you're basically waiting for something on the outside to build you up. Alphas don't play that game, you know, and they understand that the person who cares the most is usually the person who's the other person's slave. They're usually sla You're usually a slave to what you care the most about. Your kids, you know, your relationships, jobs, you know, um, people's attention. If you're constantly looking for somebody else to give you something, you're on the losing end of the stick. And alphas, I don't give a shit how attractive you are. I don't give a shit what you have. The one thing that they will never put themselves in a position to do is to feel like you are above them. Even if they want your money, you can really help them out. They know that if they give this up, that they're, that, that, that they're betas. They know that. Because betas can be shapeshifters. You know what I'm saying? They'll be whatever. They'll do whatever. They'll say whatever. Because they're, they're motivated more by feeling. They're motivated more by emotions and kind of like, you know, not really fighting the, the current. Alphas are the exact opposite of that. And they know if they let this one thing go that they're not really alphas, you know. And the final thing, the final trait of an alpha male is they don't, the idea, uh, they don't let a woman take care of them. This is a big thing because you got a lot of dudes who think they're alphas. They think that they are the alpha <laughs> until they actually meet an alpha. Alphas like the pressure. They like the weight of taking care and providing for those that they care about. All right. He ain't going to love you. You know what I'm saying? He don't have to uh, give you the world, but he will take care of you if you're in his tribe. You know, if you're his family, if it's, you're his girl, you're, his, you know, you're in a relationship with him, you mean something to him. The idea of you giving and him keeping it in his pocket, you know, or you taking care of him or you paying all the bills and he's staying with you. That repulses the shit out of an alpha. Now, you can accept gifts or whatever, and people can be nice to you, and, and, and it's not like they're afraid to, 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 uh, of generosity. But the idea of you providing for them and taking care of them, it makes them feel weak. It makes them feel uncomfortable because they know that they are responsible for themselves. They know that they need to be. They know that they know what it looks like to people. They know what it feels like to people. Even if, even if they don't say it, even if the woman says, I don't mind taking care of my man. Even if she make it seem like, Oh, I like to be like, cause you got, you have some women who do want to take care of their man. Some women do like that, but alphas don't play that game. They, even if you do, you can, you can be one of those women who say I'm paying half. We pay half of it. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But the alpha, an alpha male, he knows that in a relationship, the woman that he wants to marry, the person that he wants to be in a relationship with like this, there's this thing, I'm sorry, you know, where equality at equal, like at the real level of what equality is, that doesn't happen because there's, there's a, there's a position that you play. The woman does this, the woman takes care of this, she's responsible for this. And if he wants to be able to do what he needs to do to feel like how he needs to feel, then the woman needs to do the same thing. You know, especially if he wants kids, if he wants to be able to focus on going out there and taking care of, well, you know, being a man, which means protecting and providing. I mean, it really does. Even if the woman feels like I, I got my own, I can take care of myself. But the truth is, every woman that I know feels really good when a man wants to provide and take care of her. When she when, when he's like, no, no, I got this. Don't don't. Th that is something that happens. That's just the way it is. And you have. You do have, you know, um, now we're, we're, being, we're, we're learning more about um, 
the, the sexes and how they're so sexual fluidity. You know, we're understanding more about how masculine and femininity is not definitely confined to female organs and male organs. You have people who, ident- who are in female bodies who identify as a male and vice versa. I'm, what, what I say, and what I mean when I talk about alpha male, beta males, and alpha females and beta females um, and, and feminine females, what I'm disca- describing is the predominant energy that you carry, all right? Not your sexual organ. I'm talking about what you identify as. And this is what I mean. So masculine, alpha male energy does not like the idea of anybody taking care of them, him, them, they. It's just something that, it's just not something that makes them feel good. They like niceness. They like, like, they like, they like generosity. They like people who are appreciative of what they have to offer. That's another thing. You need to make them feel like you're appreciative too. But that's not what motivates them. What motivates them is this, there's an internal thing that drives them. It's the same thing that makes them walk away when you want some other shit. All right, because the alpha male don't play those games, you know. He spots it, he, and, and that's the thing. It's, 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 a, it's a pure, beautiful, forceful energy. So those are my top six traits of an alpha male. Please.